Hey, Sister Sus. Lisa, Lisa. Get this fire turned up a little bit, guys. We're going to be ready. Hey, hey, Sister Sus. All right, we got one minute. Hey, Clarice. Hey, Lisa. Can you get some Salisbury steak on today? It's about time. Yeah, have the workers in the back making that noise. Yeah, I'll let everybody know about that. Thank goodness. How do you get it done? Christopher Brown. seasoning, garlic powder, garlic onion, wish sour sauce, that makes the meal, and ketchup. Then we're gonna saute in our ghee, our garlic, our mushrooms, our onions. Then we're gonna form our patties. And this is gonna be for our gravy. Now this is gonna be homemade gravy, salt and pepper to taste, wish sour sauce, Three tablespoons of flour, remember equal parts, three butters, because we're gonna brown that flour. And then our, our beef broth, okay? Now, for those of you who don't wanna make it from scratch, you can use this, okay? And I use two packages of the Norse seasoning. What was that, sis? 
I'm going to try ground turkey. All right, now that it'll be good with that ground that ground turkey. So you can use two packages of this, but then you still want to add your Worcestershire sauce and uh, sauce and uh, salt and pepper to taste. Okay, so let's get started. So in order to get started, we need to dump everything in here. So first, we're gonna mix up all of our ingredients in here, which is our wrist, our golden onion soup mix, our salt, our pepper, our Italian seasoning. I got my fire going already. Our, our onions, our garlic powder, and then hold up on these two. We're gonna wait a minute. Let me get this going over here. So I'm gonna, while that's going, I'm gonna throw down the ghee over here. We're gonna get that ghee in there and let that get started. And then while that's cooking over here, I'm gonna go ahead and throw in my onions. Let's get those down. And our mushrooms. Cause that's gonna be in our gravy, okay? And give that a stir. And then we'll add the garlic in a little while cause we don't want that to burn, okay? So we're gonna let that do what it do. Then we're gonna come back over here. And I'm going to pick up the ketchup and smoosh it in here. And then the Worcestershire sauce, which is only one tablespoon in the meat, okay? We'll clean all that over. Then we're gonna crack this egg. And get that in there, okay? Now, this is why I wear gloves. We're gonna mix all of this together into this meat. It's like you're making a meatloaf, okay? But we all know it's not a meatloaf. It is Salisbury steak. Mm -hmm. Y'all, those procedures had me down for about a week. And I'm all right now. Ready to roll. Now, if we could just get this house completed by the holidays, man, we'll be doing great. Okay, I want to turn my fire down just a little over here and a little over there because that's for the gravy. I just wanted to get this pot hot. I'm going to turn that back on when we get ready to do the gravy. Okay. Now, we got that all mixed up. Now, what I'm going to do is drop a little olive oil in my pan. I'm going to squirt it right here. See that, Dad? I'm watching, that way my babe. patties don't stick. And we're gonna make these patties. So you just pinch up some, and we're gonna just roll it out. Give it a nice little pat like this. Not too thin, not too thick. And then we're gonna just lay it down in the pan because we're gonna wanna brown those. Okay. Get those down and pat it. Let those start cooking. We'll turn that fire up on that and get that going. Like we're making hamburger patties. Our onions and mushrooms are getting grilled up over there. We're gonna get back to them in a minute. Get this one pushed down. We got two more. You know, when my kids were little, every Friday, Papa used to take them and they were able to either eat out at a restaurant or get TV dinner. It was of their choice. And their favorite restaurant was Sizzler. They absolutely love Sizzler. 
and y'all won't imagine what their favorite TV dinner was. Can y'all imagine what it was? Favorite TV dinner, Salisbury steak. Absolutely. Salisbury steak, can you believe that? Greg Lewis. Hey, Greg. Oh, Happy anniversary to you and Ikeela. You guys are doing big things and enjoying your first anniversary. I was watching you guys in New York and on the cruise ship. We're going to flip these. Allison Bush. Hi, Cousin Allison. Herrera. We're gonna give these a flip. Now I'm gonna squish them one time, you guys. One time we're gonna give a little squish. Then we're not gonna squish them no more, okay? Because we want the juice to stay in them. Okay? There we go. There we go. That's about the, the size that we want there, Dad. Looks like we're getting ready to make us a hamburger patty, huh? Big like something quick and split. You know that? Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and throw this garlic in here. I'm gonna smush that minced garlic around. You get it all mixed up and incorporated into this and we're just gonna cook it just enough. When you start smelling it, we wanna cut this off back here. Okay? You get this going. Oh, it smells good. Doesn't that sound good? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can really smell that Italian seasoning over here too. I'll tell y'all we need smell a big one. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop this one off in the back and let it sit. We give a little cover on that. Let it cook inside. And I'm gonna go ahead over here. We're gonna start on this gravy. So, we're gonna turn this fire back on and we're gonna bring it up because what we're gonna do first is we're going to put our four tablespoons of butter in here and we're gonna melt the butter and then we're gonna brown the flour, okay? So we're gonna do that first. And while that's going on, I'm going to take my broth and I'm going to go ahead and put my Wishire sauce right into that broth. See there? And if you guys never seen Wishire sauce before, you'll see this and you'll go, oh yeah, I know exactly what that is, okay? So there you go. Now we got this going, we got it melted. Let's make, we're gonna make the roux for our gravy, right? So we're gonna pop this in. So remember, I tell you guys, equal parts. And it looks like uh, it's real lumpy right now. Can you show them, Dad? It looks real lumpy right now, but you guys know it will cook down and it'll be velvety smooth, okay? And then we'll start browning from this point. Okay. Let's get this going. So I trust everybody had a really nice weekend. It was so cold down here in the desert this weekend. And I mean windy. I thought we were gonna blow away, y'all. I mean that wind was pumping. We had to bring the TV in. We had to bring all the stuff off the patio. I was like, oh my goodness. It was doing it. Okay, now you guys see how that has smoothed out? So we're gonna constantly watch this so it doesn't burn. You never wanna burn. And I'm gonna give these a flip. Well, that's brown. Ooh, look at that. Those are looking fabulous. Yes. Oh boy. 
Look at that. All right. Allison says it's 86 and sunny there Ooh, in, in Texas. We have nice weather. We have nice weather today. I think we're in the 80s today. But we we're in the low desert. So we're not in the high desert. The high desert, when it rained the other day, got a lot of snow. We have snow on the mountain uh, caps. And usually when we get snow on the mountain caps, we're in the valley, so it comes through like, so we catch that breeze, you know what I'm saying? Well, it's a little chilly in the mornings. All right. It takes a while to brown. It takes a while when you're cooking flour, but you see it, it'll start turning. See it turning? You'll see it start turning blonde in some areas, see it? And then we just keep working with it. You want to babysit this. You can't walk away. Hey, Cynthia. Yeah, you cannot walk away. You have to babysit your roof. Oh, hey, cuz, you made it, huh? How'd it turn out? Did you leave me a picture? Send me a picture and post it so I can see what you did. I love it when you guys try my recipes and you like them. You guys post me a picture uh, and let me know, you know, how you liked it because I work for you. I sit up and write the recipes that you guys ask me to make. And I just want to know if you enjoy them as much as my family enjoys them. Okay? And the majority of the time, I might cook the recipe twice after I write it before I make it for you. So sometimes my, my family goes, oh my God, are we having Salisbury steak again? Are we having that again? Yes, you are. Because I'm not gonna give it to you if it don't taste right, right? Exactly, y'all look at this. See how this is turning? Now, you can have a light brown gravy, but I prefer a little darker gravy for my uh, Salisbury steak. So I'm gonna keep letting that do what it do. Let's see what's going on here. Yes, I posted it under the video in both cases. Thank you, sweetheart. I will check it out. Lisa, what you laughing about, girl? Let's see you laughing. See that? Ooh, look at it. It's getting all caramely looking. Hey, y'all, this is how you make a roux, too, for gumbo. So y'all pay attention. Equal parts. Equal parts. Okay, we're gonna let that still get a little darker. Check on our meat over here. Ooh, look at meat doing good. We're gonna give it one more flip. And that way I know it will be done all the way through. Mm-hmm. And I'm gonna go back to my roux I'm babysitting. Okay, I like that. It's darkened up a little more. Yes, it did. I think I'm gonna go with this one, okay? So then y'all, after you get this in, you're gonna turn it down now, cause you don't wanna splash. You wanna be careful here, okay? You're gonna keep stirring and you're gonna add in your liquid, just like that. And we're going to get this all stirred in here, and it will start thickening. Okay. Oops, look at me, I'm splashing out. Grab a little cap. Ooh, wait, look what I did. I got too happy with my spoon. Okay. Then I'm going to raise this up. I'm going to check on that meat. You see how it's doing. I'm going to give a, I want to see. See that, you guys? Come here. 
See how that's nice and cooked in the inside? See that? So now we're going to take these out. Hi, Dominique. And we're going to bring these over here, just like this. And we're going to set these over with our onion. Our garlic and our mushroom. We're going to pull that off the fire. Bring this one up to the front. And we're done with that pan in the back. Okay? Now we're thickening this up. I'm going to give it just a little taste. I'm going to pull that out because that came off my meat. Mmm, that's so good. It really doesn't need too much more, but I'm going to give it a pinch. Just a little pinch of salt and pepper, just for taste. Turn my fire up and let this start thickening. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> so the flour in here is the thickening agent. So once you bring this up to a nice little boil, Turn that off. We're gonna bring this up to a nice boil, then you'll see this will start thickening. I think you better let, let them know what some of that noise is about, yeah. the ones that don't know. For everyone just signing on, they're finally doing the construction in the house from the flood. Hallelujah. And they would pick a Wednesday to start, but I wasn't going to turn them down because, hey, I don't know when they'd schedule me back in, okay? potatoes y'all we're gonna bring these over here then we're gonna get our peas out Ooh, look at those peas look at those nice peas Ooh, nice and creamy so we're gonna put bring these over here Hold on, 
I'm dead. Dad be using his hands, y'all. He be oozing me out the way. I'm like, I'm the one with the hot pot now. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. <laughs> Look, we don't want an accident. <laughs> Hold, just hold on a second. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Now, if you guys want your gravy a little thicker, then just let it cook a little longer and it'll thicken up. I'm coming over here, I'm ready, because I like my gravy over my potatoes. Yum, yum. Come on, Dad, what you doing over there? Let's plate this up. Let's squish some of the butter out. You guys, when I make homemade mashed potatoes, get a nice dollop of those mashed potatoes. And then I like to put like a little hole in the center, just like that, because that's gonna hold my gravy. And then I'm gonna get me some peas. I'm gonna get my peas, I'm gonna bring them out like that because I want them to look pretty on my plate, right? There we go. Then I'm gonna get me one of these beautiful pieces of Salisbury steak here. I'm gonna get me some mushrooms on it. And I'm gonna get it up and I'm gonna get it on my plate. You can have one, you can have two. It's totally up to you. I love the mushrooms. Then I'm gonna pull my ladle out. I'm gonna get some of the gravy. And I'm gonna fill that up. I'm gonna put a little more gravy on my meat, y'all. See that? That's how we do that. Then, I'm gonna get my little fork, get my knife, and guess Here's what? Here's a taste test, huh? We're gonna cut it and give a taste. How about it? So I'm gonna give me some meat. I'm gonna pick me up a little bit of my mashed potatoes and gravy. I'm gonna keep that mushroom on there. Mm, mm, mm. And get me a little scoop of, oh Lord, a little scoop of everything. Come on, Dad. Can you first, you, you first, that? baby, you first. Wow. That is so good. Y'all don't make your gravy too thick because you wouldn't be able to taste everything. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Come on, let's help Dad out. She's gonna send you a photo. Oh my gosh. Yes, please do send a photo. Let's go ahead. Come on up here. Allison says we need a smell vision. We do. We do. Yeah, I wish I could mail it to wide. everybody. You can do it, Dad. Wide. <laughs> open wide. Ooh-wee. You got it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I get it all. Well, you guys, we've been waiting mm -hmm. almost two weeks, well, a week, to get the Salisbury steak down. But I'm telling you, it was really worth the wait. That was delicious. That's delicious. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. One more bite. What's next week? Mm. <laughs> it wasn't next week. <laughs> Y'all ain't even thought of next week. I'm just glad to be here this week. Um, let me see. Y'all, let's do some dessert. Let's do that lemon butter pound cake up there. Shall we do that, Dad? That one here. Y'all wanna y'all wanna do that lemon butter pound cake up there? I think we should. Let's do that. Oh, someone has peach cobbler on here. Oh, okay. oh that's, is that, what is that, Clarice? Okay. Okay, we're going to do that one. 
Listen, y'all, I'm not doing any holiday cooking this year. Because y'all see, I'm in a big mess. And I just ain't got the spirit for all that. I'm going to decorate, and I'm not going to do all that cooking. I think I'm going to have my mom do the cooking. That's a, that's a bad one. But thank you guys for coming in. I hope you enjoyed the Salisbury steak segment. I'm going to get off my feet and relax. And I'm going to post this recipe for you guys online. I did not want to disappoint you and not show a peach cobbler. No, you didn't, do a sis. Peach pie. I can do a peach cobbler, sweetie pie. Both of y'all want peach pie? Okay, so we won't do the cake. We will do a peach pie, a peach cobbler. Homemade crust. And I'll do the homemade crust. Y'all know how to do the homemade crust. I already showed you. But if that's what y'all want, that's what we'll do. So peach cobbler it is, okay? Well, thank you guys for tuning in with us this Wednesday. Again, thank you for the well wishes. Excuse all the construction going on behind me. And biscuits, please. I got you, sweetheart. And, and Allison, you said the cake. So we're going we gonna to throw a, a quarter up and, and heads will be the cake and tails will be the peach cobbler. And I'll let Papa do it, okay? So whatever, whatever it comes up, that's what's going to be on the next show. But you guys better believe I'll put a post out and let you know what it is. And then after that, sweetheart, I'll get you some biscuits up. Hi, Santa. Love you guys. You guys have a good weekend. Bye-bye now. Oh, boy. Look at 